job. As Jennifer said, this is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And well, it should be. I'm going to tell you a couple of things about getting involved. You've heard a lot of speakers talk about a lot of problems. Well, I am going to give you the call to action right now. I want every single one of you to think about this. In November of this year, 1.5 million Maricopa County voters will be electing school board members, city council members, water district members, fire district members, and public officials across this county. How many of those offices are going to go unoccupied? How many of those appointments are going to happen by larger political boards who are dominated by folks who don't believe in the power of people? When Michelle Robertson ran for superintendent of public education countywide and came very close to victory, she tried very hard because her opponent is now going to be able to appoint 99 school board members across Maricopa County. How many of you ran for those offices? How many of you collected petition signatures for your friends? How many of you donated money to those small campaigns? None, because 99 school board offices are empty. And that guy that beat her is going to get those appointments. Are you with me to never let that happen again? It starts at the grassroots, at the base of our government, in those small subdivision of government. Your precinct committeemen, your legislative districts, your school boards. I may be the chief elections officer for 2.2 million American voters, but you are those voters! You are those candidates. You are those finance managers. You are those social media managers. You are the ones knocking on the doors. And if you don't do it, they will. Are you gonna do it? You notice I haven't said anything about political parties because as the Maricopa County Recorder, I vowed to keep this office nonpartisan, And I will tell you why. And I am keeping that promise. Right now, Representative Ken Clark from my home district has got a bill in that house. Hopefully we can make elections officials nonpartisan. But just because it's nonpartisan doesn't mean it has to be non-populist. Because it is the people, you who have the power over our government. Do not despair. We may think this is a dark moment, but this is an incredible opportunity. The fall of 2017 and all of those public offices, training new politicians with good ideas, new campaign managers, new field managers, that is grassroots activism that makes a real difference because we're putting good, solid Americans into the public offices where they belong. And so many times people say, I didn't know, it was too late, I didn't have a chance. Well, it's January, the election's not till November. Get off your ass and get involved. as county recorder is to see every single office contested in every primary and every general election because that means we have full participation. That means our government is working with people and for people and when you get out there and your friends and neighbors run for office and you run their campaigns, you are building a bench among people who care about people and not corporate power, and that's what's important. Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, 
if we picked 100 people out of this crowd and everybody else helped to get those folks elected, we could elect every single one of them to a seat based on what is happening right here today because you have that power, you have that capacity. In my office, we are doing everything we can to blow open the doors. We have kicked over stones that have been buried for decades. Like, literally, there's stones in there that have been there for decades. <laughs> I gave my first budget presentation to the Board of Supervisors, and I was congratulated by the thoroughness of my knowledge of the office, and I was like, all I gotta do is count ballots, guys. It's not complicated. <laughs> but it's much more than that. We recognize that our precinct divisions are wrong. We have 724 precincts in this county. We used to have almost 1,100. There are precincts right now that encompass more than two cities. How does that make sense? Of course it doesn't. It was a rhetorical question, but... Thank you for being involved. So we're going to re engage the plan and figure out the right way based on data to redistribute those precinct lines because we need smart government right here in Maricopa County. We're going to utilize square footage, literally just square footage, to make sure that it doesn't take 10 days to discover who wins an election, but hopefully we can get it down to something less than 48 hours. How about that? engage in the community with a team of five folks who are going to be out there talking to people in their houses of faith, in their homeowners associations, in their fraternal organizations, out there where the community is. We're going to bring our democracy right back to you instead of you having to come and pound on the door. And we will need you, not just as candidates, not just as campaign managers but we'll need volunteers to help registered voters. I will tell you right now, we may have 2.2 million voters in Maricopa County, but I am setting a personal goal and I'm announcing it here today. We've got the population. Before my four year term is over, I want to see Maricopa County have 3 million registered voters. This is about bringing more Americans into this democracy because, say it with me, this is a government of the people, by the people.